conditions, people's imaginations may run wild. So we wanted to share a little bit more. What do these vehicles actually look like? How do they work? Where might this technology go in the future? I think the most important thing that I can emphasize is that this is going to be the first time in the history of human civilization that autonomous or self-driving vehicles will be used to deliver medical products. Uh, it will be the first time ever that these vehicles are actually integrated into an existing public health supply chain. And finally, it will be the first time ever that this kind of technology is actually commercialized. This is the first of many innovations that we are expecting to see in the next four years and, and beyond. As you know, uh, the government of Rwanda approved the Smart Rwanda Master Plan. I want to say that there is a roadmap. We are not signing just to, uh, to leave the rest to, to the hazard. We've already planned very carefully uh, the next steps. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a long, it's a long uh, roadmap. But what I can say is probably the equipment to build the drone port are going to start being shipped somewhere in May because the tests are scheduled uh, with the beginning of August. Uh, land has been, has been identified in Muhanga and uh, we're going to, I mean, Zipline is going to start uh, working on making that uh, nest ready uh, for the tests which are supposed to start in August. They'll be looking for some of the brightest engineers or, or medical public health professionals to, to, to join the team and, and run this uh, program. So all that is uh, coming up.